Hey everybody, Jonathan here from Buffalo Modular Homes, and I am here uh, with John, who is building here in uh, Ossible Forks. And so we're up in the High Peaks region of the Adirondacks. He's actually right on the base of a mountain right behind him. You can't see it through the snow, but there's a mountain right behind us here. So uh, John's building a factory direct project here uh, that we're doing. House set was supposed to be today. It's going to be next week, actually. Uh, but uh, John, I thought it would be good for you to just talk about um, what, when did we start this process in the first place uh with, with the you know with thinking about building a home together well I, I believe it was march when we uh my wife and i first went to uh to buffalo to look at a house you had yep. in process yeah and i thought we knew what we was going to get before that i had something that i, I thought well this will work for us she got up there and saw what you had going yeah. and that's the house she wanted. Yeah. So yeah. we had to go seven hours to Buffalo to get the house she wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it was back in March. It know. worked out pretty nicely too, because we actually had the house uh, available to look at too. So, because you guys had some specific things that you were looking for with yeah. this house and that, so that worked out really nicely to be able to see that, yeah. right? And then if I'm not mistaken, you guys actually walked through the house with, uh, with Jimmy from our set crew, right? And yeah. so, you got actually a lot of questions answered related to what it would look like to even do this project factory direct, right? Right. Sometimes I ask I ask too many questions. I told Jimmy, <laughs> I, I know enough enough to be dangerous. You know, I, sometimes I know too uh, too much. I shouldn't know things. Yeah. But no, yeah. Jimmy was very helpful, and he's and he's still helpful. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, answering a lot of questions and. Uh, give us a good idea of, of what we need to do. Sure, sure. So, you know, so we're here, what is this? This is December 1st now here. So, right? So we were talking about, we started this process in March uh, and it's December 1st now. So uh, how, what has happened between now and then to, to get us ready for the house set for, for you specifically as homeowner? Well, we had, uh, we sold our farm and we kept about 32 acres uh, to put this house on. And so we had a lot of prep work with, uh, getting the driveway in and uh, getting the site ready and as if you look around here you probably can't see through the snow but we have a few boulders here yeah <laughs> so we had a lot of boulders to move and uh and get the driveway ready was the big big deal i think julie just picked those boulders up didn't she and she just threw them right it, that's how it, that worked yeah well she yeah. she pointed yeah <laughs> she pointed where to go with them and uh and so when we get had the got the foundation dug and had superior walls come and, and do the foundation yeah and uh, we've been sitting here for almost a month waiting for the house to sit on it. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, there are delays that come up and you just have to be flexible and roll with it. That's, that's right. Yeah. I mean, building can be super stressful. So, you know, when you when you experience delays, it you know, it, it, the, it sometimes for some people, maybe not for you guys, sometimes it feels like, you know, everything's ending and the project's not going to go through and stuff. But, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt a little bit and understand that these things are going to happen. They're probably going to experience some more, right? Because you guys are actually going to be working with some contractors for, through the rest of the process, right? Yeah, we have we have guys doing doing uh, heating, plumbing, and uh, and carpenter that built our barn down here. Uh, he's going to be doing the uh, finishing the siding, and well, uh, Julie and I are, are probably going to do the flooring, finish the flooring ourselves, and right. I'll probably do the the stitching, the, the patching the drywall, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. And uh, we just want to get it closed up so we can get in here. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for, for sure. Well, it's uh, it's been great working with you guys. Uh, we've we've had a, a great working relationship and just helping you guys get up here. I mean, I'm personally partial to this area. I love being up here. So uh, so this is an exciting project for me personally to be yeah. up here. So you'll have to take a picture from your back deck looking at the mountain and that when it's all done for yeah. us. Okay. Well, you can come up whenever we we get it all done and uh, and and we'll drink a cold one and have a barbecue. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, thanks for your time. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> we'll see you. Thank you.